Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and this is Simply Homeschool. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how I organize my daughter's second grade curriculum. Um, this is the Abeka curriculum. So the books that I am actually going to be tearing apart would start off with my video manual. We are gonna do the phonics and language tests, the reading comprehension, phonics and language work text, the arithmetic work text, and then we have the arithmetic two tests. Um, let's see here, what is this? History, science, and health. And then we have writing with phonics, spelling and poetry, and last but definitely not least, the art book. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start ripping up the books. Okay, so first off, I'm going to do my video manual. So if you'd like to see how this works and how it turns out, it's wonderful. Once it's all done, it is going to be filed away. In that crate over there, that's actually my nephew's crate, but I put them all in files and then I put them into crates. My daughter's is over there. I have my nieces behind me. I just did my other nieces, so she already has it. Um, so yes, so I will be doing it per lesson, per week and then filed in each individual folder. Doesn't make sense now, but it will, so stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so here we go. We are just going to literally just start tearing out the pages. I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to stick it back in the book. I'm gonna do the rest of the books and I will see you back here. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to show you guys a couple things while I was ripping out the books. Okay, so typically um, I make a cheat sheet binder for my daughter. Last year I did it. So I'm just gonna show you a couple things that I typically put in it or I did last year. Um, so when I got to the back of the math or the arithmetic book, these are supplementary exercises. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in protectant sheets and put them in her um, cheat sheet binder or I may actually have a homework binder for her or a section in her binder for her homework um, and put this with that. I haven't quite figured it out, but I am going to take that out of the stack um, because I'm not going to file it away per week or per lesson for homework for the homework folder um, or binder that I'm gonna do out of the spelling and poetry booklet towards the middle of the book you're gonna come to a section that says homework it's actually on page 80 it says homework okay so that is where you're going to see the homework spelling list and it'll show what list it is so this is list one this year i'm just going to stick these in protectant sheets and stick them in a homework binder for her okay so i'm going to separate this now and i'm actually going to put this with the math the supplementary because if she does this it'll be basically her homework so let me paper clip this uh oh, my paper clips are too small for this stack that I have pulled out here. I'm not gonna paper clip it, that is just a disaster when it happens. Okay. And then also in the back of this book, it's actually not in the very back. It's between the lessons and the homework. So it's in the middle. You're going to see on page 68, it starts poetry. Um, so, they're gonna have these poetry lists, okay, that they're gonna be working on throughout the year. 
so I'll also take these and I'll be putting them in her um, cheat sheet binder. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this under homework or cheat sheet, I haven't decided yet. I'll have to figure it out once I see everything that she has and what I'm doing. But I will keep you guys updated on that. It may even be in this video, I'm not quite sure yet. So, um, okay, so that is spelling. Okay, so in their phonics and language book, I found a bunch of little um, hints, I would say. They're not hints, they're like guidelines, you know, rules that you have to go by when you're spelling, because you know how the English language is, it's crazy. Um, but if you see here, it talks about um, when there is one vowel in a word, it usually says the short sound, right? So that's a good key or tip for your kid if they're struggling in spelling. Instead of them constantly asking you or just writing it down and getting it wrong, I was thinking that either I'm going to type it up on a computer and print it out or I'm just gonna use flashcards and write them out and link them together with like a little metal ring that you can buy from the Dollar Tree. Um, that way I'll probably laminate them if I do it on paper or something because I don't know, I have to, I'm, I'm that way, I have to. Um, it looks more cleaner and stuff. So they also have K comes before I and E. They have, a, they have a bunch of them in here, okay? Just like little helpful hints. So they also have one that says, every sentence has two parts. The first part tells us who or what the sentence is about, and the second part tells us what happened. So those are super easy tips for them, you know? They're also starting like nouns and verbs and adjectives and all of that good stuff. So I was thinking of making flashcards. If anybody knows of a flashcard like that already made, let me know in the comments, please. It'll save me so much time. And I don't have a lot of time on my hands. So that would be, I cracked my knuckles, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Um, but that would be super cool. So if you know of any place or a website, maybe Pinterest, anywhere that's already like has a template and I could just print it out, that would even be cool. So let me know in the comments. Don't forget down below. Okay, so that's what I was thinking with the phonics and language as cheat sheets. So I was gonna do that because I think that that is super helpful, you know. Um, and then let's see, I think comprehension skill sheets didn't have anything. No, they didn't. Okay, so that is what I have so far for um, cheat sheet stuff, okay? So getting into the ripping again. So I literally had to rip the book off. Look at this. It's like ripped there, ripped there. It's craziness. See, so I'm taking this and I'm having to rip this binding glue and then I'm having to fold it because this one, the last one I just did, I wasn't able to fold it all the way over because the binding was still there, this was still there. So now that I'm ripping it off, I'm able to fold it all the way because I didn't want the actual artwork piece to be messed up. So it's kind of a pain in the booty, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. It'll all be worth it once everything is filed. See, watch. Oh. <laughs> I guess it didn't do it that time. It felt like it was going to. See? See? <sighs> okay, just wanted to let you guys in on the struggle I'm having. Okay, you guys, thank the good Lord I got done with the art. That was a struggle on its own. I think that took as much time as ripping up all the books. Okay, you guys, so I have actually ripped up all of the books. They are completely ready. Um, I finally got the art done. That was fun, <laughs> fun. I have already separated out what I have for her homework binder and her cheat sheet binder. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to separate the tests from the workbook or work text like classwork and seat work. In our filing system for every week, we have two folders, one for tests, one for seat work, just so that it's easier, we know where everything is. Don't mind the noise, the bunny is literally trying to rip her hay holder off of her cage and she was digging for the special food she wants to eat. 
what I'm going to do is this is actually going to go in its own binder and that binder is going to be for me. It'll be put into protected sheet covers, you know, the clear ones. So I will put that aside. So this is all classwork. So your history, science, and health activities, classwork, reading comprehension, skill sheets is classwork, writing with phonics, your penmanship. If you open up the book to the loose pages on, let me see here. So if you open it up to 217, you are going to come to your first test. Okay, so just take this out and stack it on top of the other classwork. And then I am going to make a new stack with the tests over here on my right. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the art over here with the classwork. I'm just gonna throw this away. All my garbage is here, it's like a, a mess. So this is a test, so again, I'm just going to stick the phonics and language test to the right, this to the left. Okay, so spelling and poetry goes over here, the arithmetic test goes over there, and then the arithmetic goes over here. So pretty much we have three subjects of tests, and that is it, okay? Okay, so next I'm going to open up these books. Now, for me, I hold on to these. They have like the grading things in it. I don't know why I hold on to them, but I do. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna throw this. I'll put this back here. And these stacks are actually all my teacher keys and her workbooks and reading books for the year. So anyways, I just have them there until I get them put into her cart. That's another thing I have to do. Next we have the arithmetic. I'm going to take out the same thing that I did with that, the grading. Take out these, throw these in my garbage pile. Okay, so now I have three stacks, okay? Three stacks in front of me. On each page at the bottom, it's gonna show, can you see that? It's kind of dark. It's gonna show the lesson number. Okay, so this says lesson 17. This says lesson nine. And up at the top of the speed drills, it's gonna be here. And this is gonna be lesson 11 through 15, okay? Now on the actual test for the arithmetic, it's gonna be on the same place as the others on the bottom right-hand corner. Now, if you need to, um, get a closer look of these books just to kind of see what I'm talking about. I have a more in-depth video for each subject and you can find that on my page, on my channel. So don't forget to do that guys. And if you like this video, please hit the like. It helps me know what people really like seeing and what people don't and if I should be doing these videos and leave a comment that's always I don't know, it's just nice to get comments and feedback. You know, we put so much work into these videos and time and just to hear from you guys, it makes it so nice. So what this is, is each file folder, except for my first one, because I never have any tests in week one. So what I've done is starting with week two, I have two file folders. The purple I use for her seat work classwork and the blue I use for tests. Don't mind them, they're beat up. We used them last year and I'm using them again. Okay, so I have this little cheat sheet that I've made. So starting here, it shows uh, one through five. These are the lesson numbers and then this is the weeks. Okay, so one through five is week one, six through 10 is two, lesson 11 through 15 is three, so on. So it goes all the way up to um, lesson 166 through 170 and it's week 34. Okay, so I'm going to actually use this as my cheat sheet while organizing the tests. So I have my phonics here on the left-hand side. I have the arithmetic on the right top and then the penmanship on the right bottom. So I am going to start um, looking at the bottom of the page. So lesson nine would actually be week two. So I'm gonna go to week two and I'm gonna put it into the blue folder because these are where the tests go. Okay, so moving on to week three. Um, let's see here. So 14, nope, that would be, yep. 14 would be week three. 
11 through 15, 13, and 17 would all fall under week three. I have a correction guys. So week one, you will have nothing. Week two, you will have the written phonics test. Week three, you will have the arithmetic, the speed drill, and the written phonics test. And then week four, you will actually have all three of the tests. I had noticed that I had made a mistake on that, so I wanted to clarify that with you guys. So I'm gonna just start grabbing, okay? So remember always with the arithmetic, grab your speed drill and grab your test, okay? Now the speed drills, if you're accredited, it really doesn't need to go in with your tests. Um, I just put it in with the test because I kind of consider it like a test. They're timed and everything, so I just find it easier that way. So I wanted to show you guys really quick if you have your arithmetic, phonics, and your penmanship in this order, it makes it super fast. So literally you just grab it like this. The only reason I had it the other way was because I didn't think that I could get it all in the frame, but I can. I mean, at least the top portion so you guys could see. So I'm just gonna finish up here and then we are going to start the seat work. Okay, so starting with seat work. So if you're gonna have schooling start on Monday and end on Friday, what you should do is make a little cheat sheet so um, you know which week these fall under. Okay, so obviously one through five is week one, six through 10 is two, and so on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull the lessons all the way up to five, okay? And I'm gonna just stick it to the side. Okay, so now I'm gonna go up to 10. And I'm gonna flip it the opposite direction, okay? Now what I'm doing is I'm getting these ready to go under week one, week two, the next set will be week three, and so on. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to the next subject, okay? Okay, so I just got finished with the phonics and in the back you have a glossary. So in the back of these you have some certificates that you can laminate, cut out, and give to your kids when they're doing well or you can leave them like this and give it to your kids while they're doing well, however you would like to do it. Um, but these I'm gonna keep for the cheat sheet binder and this I will put on the side for me. Now I'm doing the same here with arithmetic. Make sure you keep watching um, what lesson it is and not just counting because they tend to stick together sometimes. So just always pay attention. Okay, you guys, so starting spelling and poetry. You're gonna look at the lesson. So here's lesson seven. So that's gonna be week two. Okay, so seven and nine are the same week, right? So you're going to put this with this and flip it over. Now, I'm not sure how you guys do the organizing for the week's work. Um, if you are doing the file folder system that we are doing, what we do is we take a binder with file folders, not these types of file folders. I will either have it at the end of this video of how we do it or it'll be a new video. Not sure how long this is gonna take. So anyways, check back to the channel. So with that being said, um, on the back side of this stack, it shows lesson 12, okay? So that's a different week. So 11 through 15 is week three, right? So what they will do, at least my daughter, if she does the front side and she knows that she still has the back side for either the next day or the day after, she will just put it back in her folder and then she will go back to it on that day. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. So lesson 14 would be week three. Lesson 19 would be week four. So it looks like 
all of these are its own lesson, okay? So that's gonna be easy. So just go back and forth. We're going to do writing, okay? So again, that's garbage. I'm gonna keep this. I know I already have some, but I'll keep that just in case. Starting down at the bottom here again, this is lesson one. This is lesson two, three, four, five. There we go, week one. Six, they'll just keep in their folder and then the next week on that Monday, they will have their lesson already, okay? And it's two pages per week, okay? Okay, I'm gonna look at this real quick and just make sure that, yep, still the same. 36. Nope, hold on. Hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Okay, wait. 133. Oh, I'm not the only one up so late. All these moms on my, um, on my homeschooling group are posting stuff. So I'm not the crazy only crazy mom here. Okay, so week 133, 133, 134, 135. That goes together. And then this is, uh-oh. I'm guessing that goes with that. It doesn't have a lesson number on it, so I'm just gonna put it with the other letter where it shows the addressing and all that, just so that if it doesn't go with that, I'd rather her just keep it in her folder and then she'll leave it for when it is instead of having it after and then me going crazy like, ah, you lost it, when really I put it in the wrong folder. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's the smartest way. What do you guys think? Is that what you guys would do? Just comment. Everybody, just comment, guys. Just comment. See, here's another one that doesn't have it, so I'm putting it with that. And then here starts the journal. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, this I'm going to hold on to, okay? Because when she's done with these pages, I'm gonna literally make her a little journal with this to save with all her writing. So, because these have lesson numbers and see it goes back to 86 and right now we are on 168 169 so i'm gonna file all the other stuff and then i'll go back and file this last okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put the writing separate right here because to go through it all it would be kind of i don't know i feel like it'd be doing double work so yeah, so I'll just leave this in a stack and I'll actually file it once everything is filed. I'm reading comprehension. I'm running out of table space. I don't need that. So I keep these even though this is all in my manual. Okay, so 84, 85. Okay, so this starts later on. So let's see, 84. 84, 85, 85. Okay, so this is one week. 86, 86. 90, 90. That goes with 86. Okay, so 91, 95. Next, we're doing history, science, and health. That's garbage. Starting here at lesson seven would be week two, eight, nine, 12. Okay, so 12 is a new week because it starts on 11, 14, there we go. Remember, ignore the back page because that will just be left in there. Don't confuse yourself, ignore the back page. So 18, 19 is the same. 22, 24 is the same week. 28, 29 is.
So these are all like the supply lists, scope and sequence, glossary and stuff. So I'm just gonna put this aside and hold on to it with my stuff. Okay, so down at the bottom, it's gonna say what lesson number, and then it's gonna say the project number, okay? So lesson five would be week one. Um, 10 is week two, but you just look and this, when they have like a full page of art, they're not gonna have a lesson number on it. So just look here and you'll know the grass was being used. So this obviously goes with that. Okay, see? So smart. And you can just look here too on all the pages except for the full page, but it'll say the project number. Oh my gosh, guys, my voice is getting scratchy because I am like exhausted. I think I say that in every single one of my videos and you guys are probably like this lady, but seriously. <laughs> and I know you guys like are living the mom life too and probably feel the same way or at least at times feel the same way. I do have to admit though, I love doing these videos. I I mean, I think it's kind of cool that, I don't know, like you can reach people everywhere. I just, I want this channel to turn more into like a, um, what is it? Like a fellowship kind of, you know, like where we could talk about stuff and I mean, it's hard because I'm the one talking, but like comments and stuff like that, you know, or you guys give me feedback on what I should be doing or shouldn't be, or give me ideas on like what you guys would like to see or talk about or, you know, things like that. I don't know. I just, I want to do something like that. I think it would be cool to have that type of fellowship, especially with homeschool because you know, homeschool moms or homeschool families get homeschool families. People outside of homeschool, I think it's harder for them to relate to us. Not relate, because we could relate in so many different ways, but you know, some people don't understand why we homeschool or how we homeschool. And I don't know, I just think it would be cool be able to talk about things like that but I haven't figured out how to do that on my channel so maybe one day sorry guys I'm like getting deep there and I'm just going along and I keep having to go back because I'm like what am I doing? which lesson am I on what project am I on so I'm literally just separating the project numbers. That's probably the easiest way to do it because it's so big <laughs> and I am blind. And we all know that because I mention it all the time. Hopefully I'm not one of those annoying channels that like repeats their, you know, themselves over and over. You just wonder like if you have new subscribers, you know, you want them to know you as well. So you say stuff again, just because you don't know who's listening or on your channel or yeah. So that is that. I will be quiet now that I'm almost done. Thanks for listening guys. If you didn't fast forward. <laughs> You're like, I ain't got time for this. I ain't. Yes, I'm a homeschooling mom. Okay, so this is done. Uh, now let's get set up to start filing. And I'm trying to think what is the easiest way if I should just grab and then file. It's just room on this table is super challenging. Um, and I wish I knew the order. I mean, I could always look in my manual, but I like to put my papers in order <laughs> from what um, subject is first. Yes, I know, crazy, right?
but, and this is crazy because these are all on the left side and these are all on the right, except for this, and that is driving me crazy. So I'm just gonna fix it or it's gonna like completely bother me the whole time because it's just like that sometimes, you know? It's not budging, it literally, okay. It's not worth it. Maybe it, maybe, no, that's still wrong, okay. Moving on, so I'm not crazy. Oh, okay. I am not adding the phonics into mine right now because I want to go back and look for my little cheat sheet papers that I was telling you about, or like, you know, the little um, rules. Um, so I'm not gonna be filing this in, but you have to file it in when you file it. Okay, you guys, so what I have is spelling, um, history, science, and health, art, arithmetic, reading comprehension, and off to the left is my penmanship. Okay, so I am going to start, oh, you know what I should do? What I'm gonna do is, because the reading comprehension doesn't start until 84, I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then, don't forget, you guys will also have the phonics um, so this starts the first week, the first week, the first week, the first, nope, this is the second week, and this is the second week, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna start grabbing. Make sure you grab the whole section, okay? So for my daughters, what I did was all of her tests are blue. And then the purple and turquoise are her lessons, okay? So all the dark royal looking blue is for tests and then turquoise and purple are for regular lessons, okay? So now moving on to purple. So we're gonna grab this stack, this stack, this stack. Now, lesson seven is the second week. So there we go, put it there. Okay, you guys, so just make sure that you're checking the lesson numbers because with the art, there were two that went under one week. It'll say, um, it won't have a lesson number. It'll just say art project two. Okay, so you know that that goes with the one ahead of it. So just keep checking your lessons to be sure that you are not missing anything. Okay, you guys, so I just got done with all of the subjects. Um, I'm going back to the reading comprehension. I'm going to add that in starting at 84. So looking here, 84 would fall under week 17. Okay, so I'm going to go to week 17. And here it is. So now it just starts going in each week. Okay, you guys, so next, this is going back to the writing. Remember, this is the journal, so I'm gonna start at 86 also. 86 was 18, okay, so 18 is right here. So 86. And I'm gonna hold on to this one as well this because it'll go at the front of each one of those um, sets of writing okay so that's gonna go with me so I just wanted to show you guys with week two what I do is I go through the file folders and now I put them in order per lesson for each day Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday so lesson one's Monday two is Tuesday three is Wednesday and so on okay so seven would be Tuesday Nine would be Thursday, six would be Monday, seven, eight, I, can make some room here. I don't know if you guys could see, um, but this is lesson nine, ten is Friday, again, ten is Friday,
Okay, so what I have here is I have five stacks. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So you can either stack them up, flip them over, put them in the file folder, or you could take each day. So this is Monday. If I had multiple, I put a clip on it. So that's Monday, there's only one, so I'll just set it there. Tuesday, I have a bunch, so I'll put a clip there. This is single by itself, I'll put there. Here is Thursdays. So what I typically do is when I do, <laughs> when I do my paper clips, I'll do like the top of the first one Monday, and then Tuesday, and then Wednesday, and then Thursday, and then Friday. That way, right now I don't really have to do it because not all of them have them, but that way the, the paper clips don't bulge out your file folder. So, you know, if you have five, four, four, three, all at the top, it's gonna bulge here. So I like put them in different spaces so that it's still flat. And there you go, that's how you do it. So this is Monday's work. This set here is Tuesday's work. This is Wednesday's, Thursday's, and Friday's. So when there's just one piece of paper, it doesn't mean that this is the only one that they have because remember some things are paper clipped and they're gonna have blank on one side because they have to do it the following day. Okay, so know that there's more than just that one but it's probably on the previous weeks that's gonna be in their folders. But that is how I separate it um, per day. So what I'm gonna do is This is my daughter's, um, well, my manual, okay? And she drew this, it says Jesus, isn't that cute? Okay, so what I had done was I stuck all of my pages in here. Okay, my first year, I totally just highlighted everything. I don't need to do that, it was a waste of my time. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these pages out and I'm gonna replace it with her new manual. And then what I did, is I took these little post-its. They're a little beat up, yes, I know that. But, um, and I wrote like Appendix A so I didn't have to flip through the whole thing, Appendix B, and so on. So I was going to use dividers when I was trying to do this, but they are the same exact size as the protectors. So I didn't know what else to do, so I just, made little tabs with my post-its. Um, if you guys think of a better idea, go ahead and do it. Go for it and comment down below and let me know what you guys did. I'm gonna use it again. So yeah, that is it guys. So I'm gonna replace this with her new manual and I will be ready. Um, the only thing now I have to do is get her cheat sheet. Well, I have a lot to do, but I have to get her binders um, prepared for her cheat sheets and her homework and stuff. And then I have to do her cart which has like all of her supplies for the year um, that she usually uses. So maybe I'll do a video on that. If you guys would like to see that and what I put in it and what she uses, then comment down below and let me know what you guys think. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this and um, I appreciate having you guys on this channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit the likes. Thank you guys so much. Be blessed always.